All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back here live with Stephanie Houston. We're going to be talking to her about her role in Metal Gear Solid 5. So welcome, Stephanie. How are you doing tonight? Thank you. I'm doing fine. How are you guys? We're doing just fantastic. We've got Yong Ya with us today. What's up, everybody? I'm really happy to be here. Thank you, Stephanie, so much for joining us here today. And uh, since you're based in Japan, I figure I'll prepare a sort of Japanese introduction. Watashi no namae wa Yong desu. Hajime mashite. Oh, wow. That's so impressive. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Let the record show that Stephanie found my Japanese impressive. Very nice. Man. I, I found it impressive oh, as well. Right, over here too. I'm like, hey. <laughs> well, good nice. job, Yong. Very man. nice. <laughs> we like that. And obviously we have Karub Ronin in the building as well. Absolutely. What's going on, guys? Pleasure to have you all here. Pleasure to have Stephanie here as well. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss for words at the moment, so just take it away. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> well, thank you so much again for joining us. We've got a ton of questions for you. I'd like to yet, uh, let Yong start out the, the questions for us today as uh, he was nice enough to kind of schedule this interview for us and get everything prepped. So, Yong, you have the honors of asking the first question to Ms. Stephanie. Sure, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, first things first, I would love it if you could tell us a bit about who you are. Who's Stephanie Houston? How did she go from Netherlands all the way to Japan? Uh, and so, and how did you eventually get into modeling and acting and into MGS5? Um, yeah, I guess it, it's quite unusual. Um, but yes, I, I grew up in the Netherlands uh, in a small town, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I grew up just living yeah, a quiet life. It wasn't like I wasn't really expecting to like no pun <laughs> end up here and <laughs> but um, yeah, I was uh, kind of a geek actually. Um, <laughs> I grew up uh, playing video games a lot and uh, also watching some Japanese anime. Oh so wow! So I was nice. already like interested in Japanese pop culture. <laughs> yeah, I think like Dragon Ball Z got me into it actually. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes, yes. yes. okay. So I'm a big mm -hmm. fan. Mm -hmm. So um, after high school, I um, I majored in Japanese studies at university, mm -hmm. and um, then I uh, after I graduated, I went on an exchange program to Japan. And um, well, I was I planned to to stay here for one year, but um, actually then it was it was then that I got into the modeling and acting business here. And uh, yeah, it was like well. I, I, I love living in Japan, so I wanted to like, stay in Japan anyway. Right. And the work was awesome as well, so that's why. Uh, I the culture's got to be so yeah. different between Japan and, and where you and where you lived in the Netherlands. Did you like that better? Yeah. Uh, actually, I for me, Japan is it's more fun, I think. <laughs> well, it's also because, of it, you know, I, I really love the culture, so it, like, it, it really connected when I got here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's just like I'm kind of a countryside girl, so like now I'm living in Tokyo, and there's just so much to do. And right, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And how did you eventually uh, get involved with MGS Five? Um. um, yeah, that was quite unexpected as well. Um, hmm. I was I got a call from my agency um, that there was an audition for a video game, but. It was all very mysterious, like, and right. they, in the beginning, they, they won't reveal what game it is. Um, mm -hmm. I think, he, like, it, it's it's actually pretty already, like, I think almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it was, I think on the internet, it was still known as Project Ogre. Oh, you know? yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> wow, we're really back. back Man. Yeah. Yes. So... Mm -hmm. It was very mysterious in the beginning, mm -hmm. but um, oh, well, I I was familiar with the Metal Gear Solid series, so oh. when I got to the audition and I I saw Mr. Kojima, I was <laughs> already like, could I know this, what this be? Is. <laughs> <laughs> so I was very excited. I see. Yeah. Well, uh, we're very glad you got the role. You're doing an excellent job so far from the footage we've seen, and we hope to see more. Excellent. That's a, what a great opening question. That's, that encompasses a lot of information. And uh, I think um, 
Ronan, I think we're going to let you go next uh, because right. I think your your question kind of relates to this. So yeah, it kind of kind of bounces. We'll off skip of that, the actually. order here a little bit. It doesn't have All to right. necessarily go in this order. So yeah, hit us up, Ronan. What do you got? All right, so Stephanie, uh, I know you talked about you know how you you know got your part into Metal Gear Solid Five, but my question to you is, uh, why Metal Gear? What is it about the series that drew you to it specifically that you can talk about? Well, it's of course it's just it's such a legendary series. It's really <laughs> an honor to be. Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's well. It was just a once in a lifetime chance. Oh yeah. And I was just so happy to be able to be part of it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's all. Yeah, that is awesome. Have Have you played any of the other Metal Gears to date? And if so, which ones have you played? Um. Yes, I have. Um. <clears throat> uh, of course, I played Metal Gear One uh, on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I played it at a, a, a couple of years ago. A bit later, I. Okay. I uh, I downloaded it from the PlayStation archives. Mm -hmm. So, okay. but I really like like retro games. So, <laughs> right, I really like like the old graphics and stuff. And right, um, yeah. Afterwards, I also played. Um, actually, I, I haven't finished two. I have to be honest. But I uh, I played three and uh, four and oh, Steve wow. Walker. Oh wow! Wow! So you awesome. pretty much all of them. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I I, well, there. Well, I recommend you finish two. I was really two. drawn into it. The story is so mm -hmm. deep. And yeah. 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 It's a great game. I, I highly recommend you finish two. It'll it'll blow your mind. Like towards yeah. the end, you'll towards have the end. no idea what's happening. I, <laughs> I kind of got stuck like somewhere pretty early in the game. I I was like I I really had to get used to the controls oh, okay. when when you've already played the newer games. It's mm -hmm. yeah, they're a little yeah. different in two. Yeah, it's, it's more efficient in the new games, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. That's awesome, Do you though. feel like the um, the games that you have played in the past are going to help you, uh, you know, fit quiet into the the Metal Gear Solid Five universe now that you've you've played some of the past games, so you know how some characters should be? Do you find that helpful? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I I did, but I tried not to be. Well, to just because I I tried not to be too um, influenced by that because. Uh, Mr. Kojima was actually, he was, I think he was trying new things with the Phantom Pain. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, also like um, the motion capture and facial capture right. Right. Uh, right. together. It was really new, I think, for compared to mm -hmm. the, oh, yeah. the game. So, right. also, I think his di direction may be a bit different from, from earlier games. Okay. So... Well, but of course, it was it, it was really nice knowing the backstory, and yeah. it, it really helped. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Imagining a, a part of the reason of, you know, you, you want to establish your own identity as a character, not necessarily, because I know there are a lot of snipers in the Metal Gear series. There's the end, mm -hmm. Sniper Wolf, so you, you I'm sure you want to establish your own identity as Quiet, who's this, you know, its own character. Yeah. Sounds exactly. good. All right, Young, it is your turn, buddy. You are up. What is your next question for Miss Houston? <laughs> All right, so my next question is, uh, well, first of all, when I was looking through photos and videos of you doing uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, I realized that um, you seem to be doing a lot of the body motions as well. So you said that you, you are doing both the facial and body, mo uh, body capture for Quiet. Yes, yes, that's true. I, I, can you tell us why that is? Like, because I know Kiefer, for example, he does uh, b uh, facial, but uh, the body is done yeah. by somebody else. What um, made Kojima decide that you could do both? Are you a badass sniper in real life as well? <laughs> Are you actually an agent? Yeah. No, I, I have to be honest. I was quite, uh, I was really inexperienced on that field. But, um, well, actually, um, the motion capture was done, uh, was recorded in Japan. So, mm -hmm. Practically, uh, like it was easier to get actors over here to do mm -hmm. it, and um, well, uh, yeah, it depends. Um, it was also because I I did the pre capture so right. to make quiet look like me, but then Mr. Kojima was really like, um, well, if 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 she has your appearance, it would be nice actually if you could do. The yeah. other parts as well, and the facial capture, because actually, if you you will notice on some of the other characters that um, when someone like a, a different person does the facial capture, mm -hmm. it it will look like kind of a different person. Actually, <laughs> it's it's really interesting. It's mm -hmm. so depending, like some characters, like Snake, he he has been in 
previous games. games as well, so he has to be like an original character, like now that mm-hmm. yeah. I think he, he isn't supposed to look like a... Right, he's got his own, like he's he know like he already looks like what he looks like, he doesn't look like Kiefer. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, now, once you got the role of Quiet, how did you prepare for the role? Because uh, I'm sure you had to go through some training and whatnot to, to do all the body and, and facial capture. How'd that go? Yeah, it was really, uh, really cool. I got to do military training at uh, Konami and actually um, and Mr. Shinka and Mr. Kojima, they, they personally oh. uh, like supervised me on the training and it, it was really awesome because actually, yeah, the, the team in itself, uh, most people at Kojima Productions, they're They've, they've done this military training tons of times, so huh. it's really cool to see them actually like do do the movements. Like, yeah. Wait, Hideo Kojima can do military like. He, yeah, he yeah, does yeah. CQC. Yeah. What? Wow. It, it was awesome, really. <laughs> okay. That's very cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. I, I had a, a question that kind of tails off of Yong's. Um, did you do all of the uh, motion capture for the cutscenes that we've seen so far? Yes, yes, I did. Did you nice. find any of those cutscenes to be like uh, s- s- prior to this? Have you done any acting? Because I know in some of the cutscenes, there's some shocking moments. Like we see Quiet getting uh, her head dunked in water. Was it weird to play out those sequences? You know, on the um, what are these? A blue screen or a green screen for the motion capture? Was it weird to do it in that environment to know that you were getting you know dunked in water or something like that? Yes. It, um it, it's really, there's really some very shocking moments in, well, in, in TTP. So, of course, I, I really had to prepare myself. Um, I've, I've, I've had some acting experience, but I'm still quite new right. to act. Um, okay. I started out when I got to Japan, so I, I have some theater experience here. But, okay. up, well, my experience is up to Metal Gear had, were so different. So it was totally right. new. Yeah, so. and I, it, I, it made me think because, as Yang said, you know, when when we were doing the research for this interview, uh, I saw the the let's play that you did of um, of Outlast as well, and you seemed to be really like you were seemed to be genuinely scared playing that game, which was was just awesome yeah. to see. And it I just was curious. Like, it's not- <laughs> It wasn't really my kind of genre. I really <laughs> horror games. Is PT there. as well, I'm right. assuming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it just made me think, like, it, you know, if she was scared playing this game, it must have been, at least at first, kind of scary acting out some of the sequences that you're going to have to act out in The right. Phantom Pain. So that's where that question originated from. So thank you for answering that. One, uh, uh, one more question I have. Will you be doing the uh, both the English and the Japanese, uh, I guess, voices, uh, the, the, uh, the humming and the grunts and the, all that? That's a good question. Um, yes, yes, actually. Okay, um, okay good. <laughs> all right, cool. Awesome. Uh, Ronan, your turn. Uh, yeah, my question to you is, uh, how much would you say that your experience in, you know, modeling, for example, in Japan has helped you along during the development of uh, MGS5? Like, what, what part of that would you say that you brought to the table when it came to doing a lot of the, the motion capture, the facial capture for, uh, for the quiet? Um, well, um, it's hard to say. Because, well, sometimes modeling is kind of intertwined with acting as well. So, mm-hmm. I right. think... Um, Especially like being able to um, do different face, facial expressions, even yeah. those kind of expressions that wouldn't be in your personality originally. So right. I think modeling experience would have helped me with that. You know, yeah. that, that's, that's a great answer, and that's a great question, Ronan, and I think uh, a really good example of that, and maybe you guys will agree with me, is um, in one of the first trailers that we see when we are introduced to Quiet, uh, and we see the mascara around her eyes, she gives a really, like, evil glare, like yeah. she's ups- upset and angry, and you, you really, like, nailed that, and I, I think... What you were saying with like you know being a model and, and um, you know having to kind of be a pseudo actor as a model when you're doing pictures and stuff, you make you really like bring that out for a character that we're not going to get to hear a whole lot from. The facial expressions are really important, and from what I've seen so far, 
um, that uh, you've done a really good job in running. That's a great. That's a great question. Man. Something that I noticed yeah. also is in that cutscene they showed in Tokyo Game Show. Uh, there's a scene where you're with Big Boss and Kaz and Asla, yep. and there's this huge argument going on. And eventually, you kind of walk off, and I'm like, that. That's a very graceful walk. Is Steph? Yeah. Doing, like, I know she has experience in money. Is she doing the body capture? Because that's a very graceful walk. So now I know why. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the walk, the walking thing was actually, uh, I, I was kind of hesitating, like, should I walk maybe a bit more, like, I don't know, like, uh -huh. but Mr. Kojima was really like, no, you can, you can do the model walk, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a yeah, no, it, it real looks... element in the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks really good, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Young, your next question. All right, so for this next question, uh, I'd like to dive a bit more uh, into quiet. And uh, as I've mentioned before, you can be as vague as you want to be because I know it's you know a sensitive matter with TPP and information that you can talk about. But uh, just what can you tell us about uh, Quiet's relationship with Big Boss? Because I think fans a little uh, are a little confused because in the E3 trailer we see her being tortured inside Mother Base. Then in the Tokyo mm -hmm. Game Show uh, gameplay, we see her being a support buddy for Big Boss, her friends, and so. Um, I don't know if this maybe has to do with what Kojima said publicly about player choice influencing how certain stories plays out. So just what can you tell us about that relationship there? Um, well, uh, yeah, it's very complicated. Mm -hmm. um, I, well, I think that TPP will just be a whole different exper experience mm -hmm. for Metal Gear fans. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's just like the skill is just huge and there's so much freedom yeah. in what you can do. So, um, well, all I can say, like the, the relationship between Big Balls and Quiet, it really depends on the player. Mm -hmm. It depends on your actions and sure. your decisions. So, well, you'll, yeah. you'll have to see for yourself. Sure, that's but good you, Yeah, you can make yeah. Take her, your buddy. So, uh, but you can also bring uh, DD with you. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> what right. a combo! Cute, right. Uh, there you go. Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. what uh, what do you think? Tell us your opinion about uh, about Quiet. Do you think that Quiet is a character that players are going to want to be? Their buddy, like their support buddy, or you know, to investigate their story. Um, did you did you find when you were doing the the acting and um, you know the the capture for for stuff like this? Did you find that something that you, you don't want people to miss? Because we've heard um, from Kojima and, and some of the the testers and stuff that it is possible for Quiet to to die or for Quiet to not join you. Um, is Quiet a, a, a player that people should go out to get and say Quiet needs to be my buddy? Um. Well. Uh... Yeah, I think she would be very, very useful <laughs> to be on your side. So mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend that. She's Sounds a sniper like you, after all, so you got Don't that. want her to be your enemy for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, like, she looks yeah, very right. scary um, yeah, and with does. her powers and all that. So, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead, Daly. It's, uh, it's actually, we're on, uh, we're on Ronan. Ronan, what do you have for, uh, for Miss Houston? Uh, yeah, so, okay, Quiet, you know, living up to her namesake, for the most part, as far as we know, she doesn't really uh, uh, say practically anything in the game. Um, in what ways uh, did you prepare for this role in trying to, to express the, her emotions and things that are happening in the game to the player, uh, either through the facial capture or through the motion capture? Uh, how did you try to establish that to, to make the player feel uh, attached to her in some way? Um, well, and Quiet has very, uh, I think, nuanced ways of, of expressing herself. It's, I think it will be different than what, more, what most people expect, I, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but also, the facial cap capture really helped because compared, I think, to previous games, you can, just with little expressions, you can... Mm -hmm. Say so much, you know. Yeah, yeah. So. I see. Oh, that's that's a good answer. Thank you. Awesome, uh, Young. All right. So uh, for my next question, how big of a role do you think Quiet plays in MGS Five? Uh, I, I know Kujima did say that uh, it's possible to sk skip her storyline altogether. So I guess a part of that depends on the player. But if players were to see that all the way through, do you, would you would we see her 
a lot throughout the game? Would she play a key part in the story? Um, well, again, it, it really depends on, on the player's mm -hmm. actions. It's, mm -hmm. it's just you, you have a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah you, can, you can engage engage her a lot in, into the storyline as well. Okay. So it definitely adds, adds a, a, a huge experience, in my opinion. So she'll be like a prominent role in MGS5 if players really want her to be. Yeah, yeah, I, I say so. I say so. Awesome. Okay, nice. My next question <clears throat> is, what was what is your favorite part about Quiet as a character, and uh, can you elaborate on us why? Um. Well, yeah, she's just um, she's a very strong character. Of course, you in in gameplay and trailers, you've, you've seen her special powers. It's just like she has some well, very unnatural <laughs> powers. But um, yep. that's not really that's not the only thing that makes her strong. I think she has a strong sense of pride. And she really, well, she's yeah. She it's it's just like it really comes through in her right. personality and yeah. actions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you sure. think that uh, do you think that you know playing quiet as a as a new character in the Metal Gear series did you did you put in a performance that m warrants her to be memorable when we talk about games like Metal Gear Solid One or Metal Gear Solid Two we all have you know our own like our favorite boss fights or our favorite buddies like Sniper Wolf or you know Otacon and, and things like that is mm -hmm. Quiet going to be somebody that you know players talk about for a long time? Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I think well, TPP offers a lot of unique, really likable characters. I think so. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't Within think a really dark story, which is crazy. Yeah, it's telling something a very, to look forward to it, Lou. Yeah, a very dark story, and so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's that's true. But yeah, we we saw a glimpse of that in Ground Zeroes, and I was already shocked with that. So I cannot oh, yeah, right. imagine what yeah. Phantom Pain has to offer. It's going to be uh, really cool. I think. Um, you may come to hate a lot of characters as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ronan, your turn, buddy. All right. So now you feel free to either, you know, pass or be as vague about this question as possible. Uh, but can we expect to see, you know, a little bit more about the history between Big Boss and Quiet and the Phantom Pain? Um, well, uh, yeah, I, I'd say so, but. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't spoil it for you. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, just don't, you don't have to go specifics. And a lot of it has to do with player action again, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Well, take it away. Yeah, sure. All right, so my, my next question is, uh, when Quiet was first unveiled back in uh, E3 2013, I believe, with Kojima's uh, awesome new trailer, a lot of people took notice of Quiet's attire, or uh, <laughs> lack thereof, uh, some would say. Uh, were you were you nervous about uh, the character, how she would be received as a as a result of how she uh, of what she's wearing, and what kind of feedback did you get after Quiet was unveiled? Um. Well, well, I was really expecting to there to be this kind of the kind of re reaction mm -hmm. that was. Sure. Well, lots of controversy mm -hmm. because of course when I got to see her, see her design at first I was shocked too <laughs> right. so, um, I was yeah because especially since you know everybody didn't get to hear her story yet so right. I, I can understand people are angry about it or mm -hmm. saying it's she's so shown too much uh, right. but um yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered by it. It's mm -hmm. just, I, I... Sure. Yeah, I and nor like should you be. I mean, we've yeah. seen characters <laughs> in Metal Gear Solid, you know, for for instance... Um, Eva. 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 You know, in, in Metal yeah, Gear yeah. Solid 3, e even button prompts to make it more yeah. obvious. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I wouldn't be concerned about it. I mean, it, there's there's all sort, there's always going to be controversy when, when it comes to that topic, yeah. but... Yeah. Now, you um, think once we play the game, we'll... Be will be satisfied. Will you think will be like? Yeah, that that makes sense. Uh, I think like if you if you really um, play through the game seriously, get into the story, you will. Cool. Awesome. Um, my next question <laughs> kind of goes back to what we were talking about um, 
with with Quiet and Big Boss, but I'd like to expand on that. Was Quiet is she going to interact with any other characters besides Big Boss? I saw you know in in the cutscene that was you know recently or the uh, the trailer whatever you want to call it that was released. Um, you know, Cause seems to not like her, um, but Ocelot seems to not. You know, he kind of is Neutral. indifferent. Yeah, are they going to interact with Quiet? at some point in time through cutscenes or gameplay or was that kind of just you know just part of that cutscene um no there there's more uh, to it um it, it, it's a very complicated situation between mm-hmm. yeah the main characters and their relationship um mm. yeah quiet is really uh, you know, well everyone's very suspicious of her so oh, yeah yeah. yeah, even fans were suspicious of her just when they saw her in the trailer. They were like, oh, she's right. obviously a boss battle, clearly. And then right. they find out, what? A support buddy. So, Which was uh, was stated by Kojima that she is the female... Like protagonist, uh, protagonist? almost. Protagonist? Yeah, Kojima so, said, yeah, he, he, she, she's going to act, act as more of a protagonist with Big Boss maybe acting as an antagonist, which I found something... Uh, to, which I found to be very interesting with, you know, Big Boss uh, leading, you know, leading up to Metal Gear 1 with Big Boss becoming, I guess, more of a villain. But, um, yeah, that's what he said. I, I'm not exactly sure what he meant, though. But, but uh, Ronan, <clears throat> your turn. What do you have for, for Stephanie? All right, my question tends to, to bounce off of, the, of your experience in Japan and, and uh, you know, the, the experience of it thus far, I would say. Uh, so can you talk about what it's been like for you in Japan as a whole? Like, you know, like you mentioned, you do a lot of modeling in Japan and stuff like that. So what has that experience been like for, for you that you can talk about, at least? Um, well, it's, it's fun. Um, I get to do all kinds of uh, fields of jobs. So I do lots of commercial work and mm-hmm. um, yeah, some fashion as well. So I get to do the acting. So uh, yeah, it's it's fun. Um, it's well, it really helps, of course, that I studied Japanese and right. yeah. understand yeah. the society. So because right. it's always working mostly with Japanese people. So sounds like sounds like the life. I mean, modeling, being involved with a right. Metal Gear game—that's like my <laughs> dream right there. <laughs> it's not always as glamorous as it uh, sounds. Oh, okay, <laughs> lots I of time for anime in between and stuff like that. Sorry. Uh, lots of time for anime in between and stuff like that. Um, currently, I'm not watching too much anime, but um, well, sometimes it can be really busy because Japanese working hours, as you right. might yeah. know, sometimes can be really long. So, um, well, maybe I, I don't have as much time uh, right. to play games and watch anime. Yeah, yeah. What, what is your favorite yeah. anime, if I may ask? Yeah, there you go. I'm still kind of stuck in... in <laughs> Late nineties. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, yeah. so I, I really have a special place for Dragon Ball Z in my yes. heart. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great that's choice. awesome. Awesome. <laughs> such that's such a good anime. I remember watching the uh, the oh. American dub version when I was growing up, and then I wanted to watch you know the Japanese version. Granted, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I watched it in Spanish because I, I did. Did you? <laughs> I was born. Yeah, I was born in Venezuela, so I, I my first language was Spanish. So oh, okay. I watched it all in Spanish. Yeah, it's. Uh, I wow. watched it in, in, in Holland. English. They have the um, the uh, the the American dub. They, they oh, didn't yeah. have a Dutch. Oh wow! So, oh okay, that's cool. Dub. And later, I watched the Japanese one because I want, wanted to watch right. the originals. Yeah, yeah, I ended up watching it in English and Spanish and Japanese, all three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. that's no, awesome. Sp- Spanish is the best. Just putting it out uh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're, you're not. You're wrong. You're not right. You're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Trust me, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and they showed things that the English version would not show. So I'm like, I'll, 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 st- I'll stick with this one. <laughs> so cool. tell us, uh, tell us what happens to Stephanie after Metal Gear Solid Five is released. Are you going to, you know, pursue more games to 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 work in? Are you going to go back and just do modeling? Are you going to come back and be a Metal Gear Solid Six? What what's what's going on with that? Um, well, I, I'd, I'd love to uh, be in in other games as well, but I'm I'm really um, trying to get more into acting because it's I enjoy it the most more than than modeling. Maybe. So um, I, I have a, a little theater project coming up. Uh, oh, awesome. So that's going to be We fun. are full of theater guests lately, I tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got tons, Quite a few. Quite a t- few. Tons of them. 
And, you know, to, to touch on that, you know, obviously with your experience now in, in Metal Gear Solid, um, the, the, the veil between voice acting and normal acting is really disappearing as we move, you know, more into the future where you're, you know, you're doing, you know, facial capture and motion capture and acting out the scenes and it being recorded. Would you like to do that in more games coming up in the future? Yes, I'd love to. I think working on games would be the most fun. <laughs> I've had such fun. a great time working on, on TPP, so That's awesome. Awesome. I'd love to do more. Yeah, well, awesome. one of my personal dream jobs is to become a, a video game voice actor, which is why I'm, yeah. I'm also like doing a lot of theater right now to get some of that experience built up. And I just came back yeah. from a rehearsal, so I'm like exhausted. But uh, so oh, I, yeah. sorry. To, uh, oh no, no, sorry. please, no. I am. I'm so happy to be here right now. He um, does. He does a good job of too. He's got. Yeah. Um, he's got oh, quite nice. a few uh, dubbed um, videos on his uh, on his YouTube channel. He does the Dragonborn, um, where he voices you know multiple characters. It's really cool to see. Uh, you know, Young as an up and coming, oh, you know, voice actor, oh, and absolutely. you're very welcome, Young. I was uh, thinking uh, you have a great voice, Young. Oh, thank you, oh, <laughs> thank you, you so much. That means so much coming from you. Um, you're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, Ronan. Did you have another question? Oh, yeah, my, yeah. This next question is mostly along the the lines of. Uh, you know the fans that have you know witnessed you after your your reveal and the and the phantom pain. Ever since then, have you ever been approached by fans that have recognized your character in game? Uh, you know, had they ever you know called you out in public and stuff like that? And uh, you know, special events along those lines. Hey, that's that sniper. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, only a couple of times actually. Uh, Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, just walking around in Tokyo and Tokyo. Yeah. But I think um, maybe people recognize me more from from. Kojima Station or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, the nice. infiltrate Kojima Station. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Infiltrating, yeah. Those were very cool. I, like, yeah, I, yeah. I really enjoyed the sound, uh, the sound one. That was amazing. Yeah, it yeah, was Foley awesome. Studio. Yeah. It's uh, just amazing to see backstage, like, yeah. right. Just, All of that. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. Definitely. Young, um, your turn. Oh, okay. So for my next question is uh, something that a lot of people uh, were surprised by was quiet uh, humming. I think a lot of people just expected almost nothing from her, but then we saw her humming and we were like, hey, that's kind of pleasantly surprising. Uh, so <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but if uh, the tune, first of all, is the is the song that Donna Burke sings. And, and I, I don't know what the song's called. Uh, I don't think it's Sins of the Father because it's two separate songs in the trailer. There's the first one. Oh, uh, yes, a, you're right. That's, that's, okay, so that is the tune. And uh, from my, uh, uh, my second part to that, uh, what can you tell us about her humming? Is it just kind of a, a gameplay cue, or is there uh, some significance to it? Um, uh, yeah, it, it's, well, as I said before, like, Quiet has really interesting ways to communicate, so mm -hmm. that's one way of doing that. Um, okay. But it's, um, it's definitely a song you'll be a melody you'll you'll be hearing more in in the game and it very has significance so okay cool yeah sounds good but um yeah it, it's you're you were right it's it's not actually the sins of the father it's uh mm -hmm. separate yeah right song. it's another song right uh -huh. awesome uh ronan uh yeah so i know you you talked about the languages that you speak and stuff like that but uh my question is were there were there any other languages that you would like to learn how to speak outside of you know Japanese and uh, your native language in English, of course. Um, well, yeah, I, I would, uh, I would like to learn French or Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you. Nice. We can totally. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I feel um, mm -hmm. learning too many languages at once. Uh, yeah. Will be gotcha. difficult. Right. I gotcha. Right. So before we move on to our next question, I just want to check with you and see how we're doing on, on time-wise. Are you still okay to stay with us for a little longer? Yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. Uh, the next question, uh, we're going to let Yong go, go ahead sure. and take the next question, um, and then I'll go after. Sure. Uh, for my next question, how would you describe uh, Quiet's personality? I actually saw a lot of, uh, a, a surprising amount of range. You know, at first in the E3 trailer, I just saw this kind of maybe cold-blooded killer but then, as I kept looking at more footage, I saw her. Uh, I saw her maybe a little vulnerable with a Big Boss uh, in that cutscene. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's what I got out of it. And we also saw her smile, giving the thumbs up to the player. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, just what? How would you describe her personality? Is she gonna have like a pretty good range? 
Yeah, yes. Well, it, it, at first, she's very close and yeah. kind of keeps the background. But um, yeah, I think in general, she's she's quite uh, a bit passive, like mm-hmm. being in the background. But um, you know, on the inside, of course, she she has much more to her. And um, well, I think what you've seen in the trailer and gameplay is when is a state where she has built up a really uh, comfortable, good relationship with Big Boss. So okay. that's why, of course, she will give the thumbs up. Okay. And it, it really makes a difference. So she has a cute side to her, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So tell us a little bit about, um, if you can, about the way that uh, that we'll see Quiet progress in the story as far as... Le- it's it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint because it's all it's a lot of it is player choice as you've stated before. But considering the the player wants to be on good terms with Quiet, is there going to be a conclusion for Quiet at the end of the game or at some point in the game, or is this a character that could carry over into other Metal Gears? Well, you really have to see for yourself. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. Point point. Okay. We, no, I, I'll, totally I'll, I'll accept that. I, I like to. I like to think about that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I, I know it, it's very. It's just she's so mysterious. At yeah. This point. Yeah. Especially with a legacy like Metal Gear, where right. it spans so many games. And Hideo Kojima, he likes to play mind games with us, especially oh, with yeah. what he did with the Phantom Pain. I don't know if you actually knew about uh, how he was doing that. The Phantom Pain, Joaquin Mogren. Right, with, um, yeah. yeah, the bandage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Kojima. Classic Kojima. <laughs> it was uh, so funny. Yeah, that was... <laughs> it was. I had so much fun watching the community. Like, you were know, <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Ronan, your turn. Uh, actually, that's it for me. I'm good. Yes, okay, go perfect. Uh, Young, we'll bounce back to you. Sure. Uh, Metal Gear games uh, often have a tendency to uh, uh, leave out uh, details about new characters like Quiet, which is which, which can be appealing uh, because, like, for example, with Sniper Wolf, I, we actually didn't learn much about her, but people loved that character because she was so mysterious. Uh, and But with MGS5, they're kind of closing the loop on the on the whole saga. So... Would you say that Quiet will be fleshed out extensively, or is she the kind of character who's maybe left out, uh, who's going to be mysterious to a degree? Um, well, I would say she, she remains mysterious, okay. but um, it's, it's, well, it's really up to Kojima as well. And okay. Yeah. Is, but the, <laughs> well, yeah. You, okay. You'll have to see for yourself. Okay. That's is, a... Is there enough there? Thing. Is there enough there to for us to at least kind of understand uh, this character? Just enough to maybe, wh- whatever it be, sympathize. I don't know. Whatever happens, is there enough there that there that the players can maybe uh, get back from her? Uh, I think so, definitely. But okay. um, it's it's really deep, so you have to really look for it. I think sure. um, if you just like casually like rush through the game, maybe you won't. Mm-hmm. You won't you won't understand what 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 quite sure. all about. So that's amazing. I yes, all right. When you um when you initially got this role as as quiet, um, did you ever yeah. uh were you ever like um supposed to or um do any research on ground zeros on the events that happened there to carry over to do quiet, or are they two separate entities um i well they definitely uh, encourage the actors to get into it and of course they they tell us a lot um you know show us most of the material that we need to know so right uh but uh, yeah i've i've played ground zeros as well so yeah it's definitely uh yeah it, it's a prologue to tpp yeah. so i would say You'd have to know about um, the story of Ground Zeroes before playing TPP. Yeah. Did Did you okay. enjoy uh, Ground Zeroes uh, when you played it? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was uh, an amazing experience. Uh, 
We were yeah. actually playing that just prior to you coming on here, and yeah. that's kind of what prompted the question is when you play Ground Zeroes, you can beat it uh, uh, the 100% completion, and we don't hear anything about Quiet, which, you know, obviously it, it, it is a prologue, but I kind of expected to find something maybe in a tape or a file or something, maybe about a mysterious, you know, sniper or a mysterious person. So Quiet's storyline is all self-contained in The Phantom Pain? Um, well, it goes beyond the Phantom Pain, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, well, in, in Ground Zeroes, it's true that you can't find, really find out about her, but, um. Does that have something maybe to do with, like, the importing of the save files and stuff like that? Will that influence, you know, the storyline for your, 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 your Phantom Pain playthrough, as, oh, uh, as yeah. they kind of stated? Yes, yes, but that, that, that's, uh. That's true. From what I've heard, it will really, it will really change the story. There's some elements. Um, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, Young, your turn. Um, so for this question, uh, how has it been like uh, working with uh, Hideo Kojima and company? How would you describe his uh, directorial style? Um, yeah, it's it's very, <laughs> very interesting. It's always. It was so much fun, um, especially doing the motion capture, because it's actually really just like being on a film set. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, of course, we, we got a script in advance, but, um, yeah, on set, Kojima would mm -hmm. come up with, like, different things, too. So, like, <laughs> just, oh, let's just try that. And uh -huh. sometimes I'd come up with some pretty crazy stuff. So it was... <laughs> Has um, like stuff that made me thinking is is that going to work? <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, I'll I'll go with it. But then, um, yeah, seeing the result, it's okay. it, it works and it's amazing. Nice. Some of that awesome. crazy stuff has made it through. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> cool. That's good to hear. Uh, also, yeah. Ronan, if you have any questions that pop up to you, feel free to let us know, man. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Actually, actually, I got one co question okay. from the community actually that I that I have as well. Awesome. Well, thank That's you for question. watching out about the, you know the chat and stuff for us. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. That. So my question actually comes from uh, uh, Wolfgang uh, at Wolfgang via Twitter. He asks, "Did you ever finish PT?" <laughs> no, I, I have to be honest. I haven't. It was just, it was too Tough. scary for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did you know I, what to do? <laughs> no, it was. It was Kadeo didn't I help so you. <laughs> no, but I, I, at the time, I, I didn't really want to go through it. But I was still really curious about. Um, I want, kind of wanted to finish it, but. Uh, I tried it at home as well, but just like, yeah. playing it by myself, it's just yeah. impossible. <laughs> I was too creeped out. But I've watched some Let's, let's, let's Plays please. online. That's it's, awesome. It's really bizarre yeah, how you finish it. I think people still don't quite get the solution right. yeah. to like yeah. the, the ending and stuff. But it's, um, it's, There's so yeah, many different I think ways it's to do really it. something people haven't figured out, figured mm -hmm. out like the last yeah, thing yeah. you need. And yeah. Classic Kojima. There's, there's, there's like one consistent way, but there's so many different ways to do it. I though. hope there's some depth like that in in the Phantom Pain. I really hope that we see, you know, him him stretch his legs out in that way. But I have a um, a question for you, Stephanie, and it's rela it's relating to uh, voice acting um, or the facial captures. I don't, I'm not I don't know exactly how it works, but did you get to work with any of the American staff um, that are in there, like Robin Atkin Downs or um, uh, Kiefer Sutherland or anybody else that's you know, in the Phantom Pain, did you get to do any dialogue with them in the booth with you or anything like that? I have not personally met them, no. But I've been uh, to uh, LA to do the facial capture because mm -hmm. um, the, the technology they needed to do it was uh, over there. So, but yeah, I had to uh, do it with just the recordings of everyone. So I was okay. Okay. Nice. So you got to hear recordings of other people's dialogue talking to you. And then, yes. okay, all right. Yeah. Well, that that definitely, you know, I can see that uh, that being helpful to be able to have that. A, a lot of um, a lot of the interviews that we've had up to this point, a lot of them have said, you know, sometimes like Christopher Randolph, he said it when he was recording Huey for the Phantom Pain, he was in a booth for you know eight hours by himself, yeah. you know, at, at times. So <clears throat> we uh, we understand the the struggle on that uh, on that front, but uh, young. Yeah, it's hard to get everyone together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely yeah. is, especially with 
you know, big names like like that are here in uh, in the Phantom Pain, like Troy Baker and and yeah. Kiefer. Yeah, sure. Um, so I'm actually done with my questions now. I've got a bunch of community questions from uh, my YouTube channel, so I hope uh, you won't mind answering those. All right. Sure. All right. Cool. So first up, we have Snake Seven Seven Five Three YouTube. Uh, did you ever hear about <laughs> rumors that Quiet is a transgender Chico? What was your reaction to the rumors? I was waiting for this question. Yep. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I really I was expecting it as well. Um, well, I was just actually honestly. Uh, I was amused, really amused by this. It was just <laughs> really all out there. these fears everyone comes <laughs> yeah. up with. Um, but um, I've, I've said it in uh, the Japanese um, uh, Kojima mm -hmm. station, station. Mm -hmm. that yeah, it's it's unfortunately it's it's not true. Uh, okay, all right, so a one hundred percent confirmed <laughs> not true. Denied. But it was scouts. really funny watching. Actually, um, I've watched, watched some videos like. Oh, like some oh. explanation of the theory, but like, I've seen yeah, like when, when everyone crazy. thinks it out, like well, it sounds like it could be true, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made right a, a theory. I made a video theory my, myself, and uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, "Man, th this could th there might be something there." <laughs> And even I was like a little skeptical until you you outed yourself in Kojima sta uh, Station Station right. you were like yeah it's really not true that's when I'm like okay <laughs> I was a little relieved because that would have been a little maybe too crazy right. for me yeah, just um, a bit yeah double confirmation then that uh, quiet is not Chico I don't want to see any more posts in the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> Facebook group. It's funny that even <laughs> after I denied it, like people would be like no way yeah no <laughs> that's that she, it's she's all lying. part of the no. plan. Yeah, it, it's a Joaquin yeah. Mogren thing, you know. Yeah, what I'm <laughs> that's MGS fans for you. They they just uh, they, they right. keep going. Yeah, Got our it, yeah. I think that's well, great. Uh, I I love that about the series that it, it actually inspires so many people to right. think that much. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's really cool. Uh, so for my next question, that it's from Mark Waters from YouTube. How long have you been working on MGS five? Uh, MGS five. It seems like a massive project. Yes, it really is. Um, especially. Since I've been part of it from the motion capture recordings, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. they're, they're done at a really early stage, so okay, um, I think it's right in the project ogre, like you were saying, so a long yeah. time ago, a couple of years. Yeah, I, th I think almost three years now. Wow! Oh wow! Yeah, that's crazy. Wow! <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm really, really looking forward to the release. To the Can you project? imagine? Can you imagine if, uh, like she mentioned earlier, about the long uh, work hours there over in, in Japan, if they were on the regular, you know, U.S. work schedule, how long this game would take? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think especially now, uh, it's the last, they're working on the last stages of uh, just completing the game, so I think they're working really long. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. wow. Crunch time. Really hard working. And for you, is it is it over? Have you done all the recordings and all that, or you you still have a bit to go? Um, for now, I believe I'm finished. Okay, cool. Um, my next you could question. Could always be asked to, you know, sometimes when they need to add some little stuff. Oh, okay, they might right. change a few things it. along the yeah. way. Gotcha. That's cool. Um, my next question is from SS. Oh wow. Uh, Oberfuhrer <laughs> Schakel Bernstein. <laughs> Nailed it um, from YouTube. <laughs> Very nice. Um, moving from Nether Netherlands to Japan must have been uh, a huge. Oh, I guess you kind of answered it. It must have been a huge culture shock. Uh, but what was the most difficult thing you had to adapt to uh, when you moved to Japan? I know you love it there, but was there anything in particular that was difficult to adapt to? Um, well, I think it's just the especially in the theater world. I think um, when we get into like a strict like hierarchy environment mm -hmm. it gets it can be pretty tough uh, oh, yeah. yeah well i i don't know if you've heard of like kohai and senpai so right. you always have mm -hmm. to be like the... careful what your position in the group is and uh, that's one of the difficult things right yeah i speak yeah. korean and i know like there are uh, many and it's similar to japanese in that it has the formal terms it has, and then you know and then the regular terms I suppose you know you can speak you, you speak to a friend differently than you speak to an adult and so I, yes. I completely understand uh, that's really confusing for me even today as well but um yeah <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, 
Um, my next question is from DJ from YouTube. What similarities do you think uh, you share with Quiet that maybe led uh, Kojima to choose you for the role? <laughs> um, I, I, <laughs> it's hard to say <laughs> because I'm, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what he, what he saw, of course, but um, I think maybe like, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm a shy person, mm -hmm. so okay <laughs> maybe there was some kind of mm -hmm. well to quiet being quiet of course so. uh -huh. <laughs> right. i see what you mean something and maybe and also the graceful walk that was it uh, kojima saw the model <laughs> walk he's like okay quiet done <laughs> done <laughs> <laughs> um my next question is from uh emin dude 54 from youtube was it hard to uh for you to learn japanese why why'd you start learning it uh in college um, well, I, I just, because I got to know it through, you know, like video games and okay. anime and, um, I, I've also, I just really liked the sound of it and I was mm -hmm. really fascinated. Yeah. So, very nice. I see. Yeah, okay. It was, of course, it's, it's very hard. It, it's a hard <laughs> language. Yeah. It, it yeah. took me a lot of years to, yeah, to I be see. able to get to I'm, I'm still of, trying to learn it. No, but you, you <laughs> speak it, um, like I watch a lot of anime. I, I watch enough to know that. You know, when when someone's speaking and if they're they have an accent or anything, you you speak it f perfectly. As in, I thought you were born in Japan. Uh, so oh, really? I, yeah, no, I, I actually I thought you were born in Japan until I you know looked uh, looked you up. I, I, I'm, I'm far from perfect, but I'm, <laughs> thank you. No, for... it's really good. It it, it sounds um, yeah, it's very impressive. Um, uh, so my next question is from Jason Snakes from YouTube. Um, who's your favorite character in the Metal Gear series, other than Quiet? Oh, that's a hard it's a tough question. tough one, yeah. <laughs> there are so many great mm -hmm. characters in the Metal Gear series. Eh, choose one who you are fond of. It doesn't necessarily... I know, if you, I know there's a lot of characters to choose from. Just one that you really... <laughs> that stands out to you. Um, from uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, I, I really like Grey Fox. Gray Fox, yes. Yeah, nice. There you go. Uh, may I ask? It's all about ninjas. <laughs> and of course, um, and you make it really hard. Like Psycho Man was awesome as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, for Gray oh, Fox, yeah. it was really, yeah, yeah. He had a really cool introduction, of course. And, yeah. Uh, just such a sad story to him. Mm. It's just a really deep character and. And he was badass, of course. Okay. <laughs> that is, no, that's a fantastic choice. Yeah, Gray yeah. Fox is one of my tops for sure. Um, my next question is from Sebroth Gaming from YouTube. Are there more powers that Quiet has, ha uh, that, Quiet has that haven't been revealed yet? Uh, have we seen all of that? You don't have to say specifically, of course, but do you, do you think we'll see more uh, powers from her, or is that pretty much it? Um, so far, we... I, well, oh. I, get, I kind of think you have uh, an impression of what she... Yeah. Kind of do. But um, yeah, there's definitely more to to it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Good yeah. enough. Can't wait to see it. Um, <laughs> next up, we have Mumez from YouTube. If you could describe Quiet in one word other than Quiet, what would it be? Um, I I would say Quiet is well, <laughs> Quiet is is the perfect word for oh, yeah? I, I could yeah. think okay. of another. Sure, that's good enough. Uh, 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 my next question is from um, Diamond Star Ace YouTube. Uh, without revealing her story and whatnot, is there um, more to how Quiet will communicate in Phantom Pain other than uh, gestures uh, and uh, I guess the the sounds she's already made uh, that we know of so far? Maybe th does she know maybe sign language, anything of the like? Um, no, it's more uh, subtle than mm -hmm. than than sign language yeah just, just as i said she has really unique ways of yeah and of course she's she's not mute so uh -huh. she can use her voice but mm -hmm. she's deprived of her words so. right, right right gotcha yeah. right. Sounds good. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, I my last question was, are you a gamer in general? But I think we all know now that yes, you <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, that question is. answered already. <laughs> yes. Um, and uh, have you, what's your, I, my, going off in that, uh, what's your favorite game period that you've ever played? I couldn't really name one as a favorite. It's lots of, lots of series I really like are, yeah. uh, 
Well, I, um, as a kid, I, I played Pokemon and I still do. So yes. <laughs> nice. nice. You, yeah. Wow. I love and, Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> and Final Fantasy. So I, I yes. I'm pretty, I'm really into RPGs as well. And of course, the awesome. Metal, Metal Gear series. Are you looking? I'm not too good at. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm not too good at action games, so. Uh, <laughs> I gotcha. Are you looking but, forward to, to Final Fantasy 15? Yes, of course. It yeah, looks of amazing. Course. That looks amazing. <laughs> um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much all the questions that I have. Awesome. I've got... Um... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I don't, go I'm, I'm not sure if you recognize the... I have some plushies from Monster Hunter. That's a game I like as well. Monster Hunter! Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Monster Hunter. Nice. Do you have that's four cool. uh, for 3DS by any chance? Actually, I've um, I played the second and third, okay. but um, I have I haven't played uh, four. Not yet. enough time. That's I, the one that I that I uh, have been playing, and I that's the first one I've played, and I love it. It's so addictive. Really? It's, <laughs> it's ruining my life, and I need to stop. I know that's the problem. Like, <laughs> I'm right? care to get I'm it. The same boat. I will be like, <laughs> right. there will right. be hundreds of hours going into this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed them back there, and I didn't know exactly what they were. I haven't, uh, I haven't played Monster Hunter yet. I didn't have um, that console, you know, growing up. But I, I've seen people play it recently, like you said on the on the 3DS, Young, and it's it great. looks really, really cool. I can't, I can't wait to get my hands on that yeah, and try that. Um, pretty good. I got a, just one or two small little closing questions. Have you um, got to play any of the Phantom Pain yet, as a, maybe like a demo or anything like that in the studio? Um, I haven't actually got to play it, but they showed me their progress. So okay. Uh, okay. We're getting really close to the end here. Obviously, um, the Metal Gear series now has the Metal Gear Online coming back out. Um, what are our chances? If you can't say anything, we'll understand. But we get, we, we've seen Ocelot as a playable character. We've seen uh, Big Boss as a playable character. Is there any chance whatsoever that we might, might see Quiet as a playable character in Metal Gear Online? I wouldn't know, to be honest. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, they, they're right. planning to release some details here coming up in, uh, I believe, May. So maybe we'll have some more information about it. I think Quiet would be a fun character to play in the, uh, yeah. in the, in the Metal Gear Online um, in the Metal Gear Online world. And um, lastly, um, uh, we would love to have you come back on the show after the Phantom Pain is released. Is that something you would be interested in doing? Oh, yeah. I'd love to, of course. Awesome. We're, we're, what we're trying to do is interview pretty much the entire Metal Gear cast from from mm -hmm. one to, to now. But we'd also like the ones that are participating in, in Metal Gear Solid 5 to come back after everything has been released and you can talk more without having to, yeah, I guess you know, we, have a whole different we would have a great, yeah. a great time and a, a great conversation there. Uh, and to wrap up, um, something we like to do is uh, Yong is a, is a great YouTube editor here, and uh, he's got a, a nice channel. And um, we let uh, we we all work together to make these interviews fun. But Yong has has come up with the idea of um, we like to have the characters that we bring on the show, like Quiet or uh, Huey, say something in their character voice that we can put into the beginning of the video. So I believe, Yong, we agreed, and, and, and Ronan, we all agreed that we would like her to do a hum, if she could. Yeah, if, yep. uh, can you do for oh, us the, nice. the little hum uh, in the African Jungle gameplay, uh, the, the intro scene, and then what we'll do is uh, we, we have like a codec call at the beginning, and we edit that into the, yeah, so, so uh, could you give us a, cool. a bit of that hum? Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome right. that you remember it. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. <laughs> right. Here I go. Yes. Uh, Is that all right? <laughs> yes, yes, that was really good. That was great. You yeah, should do a long of it. You should record. <laughs> uh, you should record that and release it on SoundCloud or something. Uh, I'll make you know. I can sleep to that you know really easily. <laughs> Young, yeah, everybody. What, one Young, last yeah. question that I have. S -s something that yeah. I've been trying to do is. I, I, this probably won't be possible, but I would love it if I could interview Kojima one day. And I don't know if, uh, do you think he's he's too busy for that? Uh, or would he be willing to do that at some point when all things are, uh, when, when, when everything's cleared up? Um, I, I'm not sure because uh, yeah, I haven't seen him for a while too. Oh, yeah. So, um, 
but I, I, I don't know. You have to come back. <laughs> sure. Um, I'll, I'll uh, do maybe I think you have a better chance <clears throat> once the game. Sure. Yeah, comes probably. Out. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah, thank you. Um, and thank you for uh, uh, the humming. It was quite soothing, I must say. Um. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. There you go, guys. Stephanie Houston, or AKA Stephanie GMJ on Twitter. Give her a follow. Stay up to date on all of the things that she's doing. And my two amazing co hosts, at Young Ya yeah and at Corrupt Ronan, these guys here with me on all of the interviews that they can possibly be here for. We really, really enjoyed this one. And we've got a ton of fun mm -hmm. information about Quiet, one of the most anticipated characters in a long time for Metal Gear. Uh, and we look forward to having you back on the show, Stephanie, at some point. Thank you so much for joining us. Yosen-san, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was fun talking to you guys. Thank yep. you. Awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we will... We'll contact you at some point and bring you back on the show once The Phantom Pain is out and we can talk more about sure. Quiet. Yeah, right. sure. I'm looking forward to Thank it. Thank you so sure. much. Have a good day. Goodbye. Yeah, good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Well, there you have it, ladies right. and gentlemen. Oh, man. Stephanie Houston. All the amazing. That was a really, really fun interview. That was. That was Let enjoyable. Let me... Uh, let me reset up the cams. I was in here. trans half. I'm like, man, she's really beautiful. God, half the time. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I, I, everybody. Starstruck. <laughs> I was just like, I mean, one thing is being starstruck, and then another thing is being beauty struck. I'm just like, yeah, man, like, wow, beauty yeah, okay. Struck. Anyway, <laughs> you heard it here first, okay? Beauty struck. <laughs> no, but but she, uh, no, she's a she's a, a really kind person. And, Definitely, uh, she was really fun. Uh, yeah. Again, another. Um, Another event similar to, to David and Christopher, which we've been lucky in, and really Tasia as well, where they've had you know an extended time to sit down with us. Really, the only person that didn't have a ton of time was uh, was Troy Baker, sure. and uh, that's because that guy's doing everything, everything at one time, everyone, yeah. all the time. <laughs> you're a you're a, a voice actor, a musician, and you know you you think you're gonna have free time? I don't think so. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I give him props for trying at least. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely props for trying. He he definitely yeah, yeah. made the best out of the time uh, that he that we had together. But uh, yeah, so we've got uh, we'll, we'll take a few minutes. It's one o'clock, so the interview was just about an hour long, right. which was uh, like I said, which was good. So we won't stay on too much longer. But we do have uh, upwards over three hundred and fifty people here right now. So I'd like to uh, get post. Post show thoughts. What do you think, Young? Did you get any uh, good information about uh, about Metal Gear Solid Five? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's as pretty much as much information as you're going to get from an interview because you know yeah. they're so secretive about all the MGS Five info. So I was very satisfied with um, what we got. She gave us a, a decent amount of uh, information, new insight on Quiet, and now I'm even uh, more excited about uh, the character. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. And and you, Rune? Yeah, like like Yong said, is you, you can only get so much info out of these people as you possibly can at the moment because the game is on release and they yeah. can't spoil that. I think so we got a little more. We got we got more than we thought we, we would get. Out of, out of Chris, we definitely got a little more than than I thought we were gonna get. But uh, it's, hey, you snuck that last question in on her at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> it, got, it, which, it got a little bit more info out of it, which was pretty cool. I have which to admit. One? The the question about you know the whole save things from Ground Zeroes and uh, stuff yes. like that yes yeah, so you you snuck that in on there we I got a bit of inform information you know, out of that it's it's so tough I I do my best to to note my questions on the uh, on the on the pre show uh, you know card or whatever but you know once we're getting here and talking and uh, you know we we talked about this offline as well um, you know we all really feed off each other's energy in these you know interviews obviously the I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna be up front. I'm an honest person. Up in the beginning of the interview, I think we were all just a little kind of, uh, uh, like Yong said, maybe beauty struck or starstruck, having having yeah. quiet in here. Yeah. But after that, we flowed really good, and you know, it just popped into my mind after you know hearing one of Yong's good questions. I was like, there's got to be something, you know, with with quiet and ground zeros, and if there's not, there's got to be a, a reason for that. So. Uh, you know, obviously it could just be a character that he meets after the events of that. But, you know, I wanted to see if, you know, there, there was any correlation. And she did say, you know, it, it, it depends. So, I mean, right. that, that's the tough part of interviewing somebody with a, a branching story path like this is, mm -hmm. you know, all this good info that we got today, 
you know, some people aren't going to see it. You know, yeah. Some people and just yeah. don't you know, play the game that way. It's good for her because she can get away with it by saying, it depends. Yeah, right. Moving there you on. go. You know, like she can just say, it depends on the player. And that's all she has to say. Or <laughs> right. as maybe Christopher has to actually give a somewhat of a specific yeah. answer. But, um, yeah, well, we got a good enough, a good amount of info. Yeah. What do you think are the, the sources of Quiet's uh, powers? Again, uh, we heard... Um, and maybe a different wording from Stephanie that there's a reason, there's something behind it. Is it, in Ocelot's favorite terms, this little gadget right here? Or are we looking at something maybe paranormal, you know? Nano machine, son! Nano machine! <laughs> That's that. Uh, hey, I was going to say that too. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if nano machines were, were invented. In, in around know. this time? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like nano machines more, come more. Maybe she's like the with... first nano machine lady. Possibly. Um, yeah, that could be okay. That could be one of the theory cases. video. I don't know. I, I, I've, I've before MGS four. I've always thought that powers were just kind of there because that's just the way the Metal Gear world works. It's just one of those mysteries, and I personally right. enjoyed that until four kind of shattered that illusion. That's one thing that I personally wish Kojima wouldn't have done. I'm yeah. hoping that with Quiet's powers, <clears throat> it, it, there is a bit of that illusion that it, it is just it, it's just something supernatural. It, the world of Metal Gear has supernatural elements, like I, yeah. I, I, like with the sorrow, for example. I, I don't know how you explain that with nano. Yeah, that <laughs> that was that was something I mean, else. There's uh, and like Psychomantis being able to float, like you know right. what I mean. You can't really explain that those kind of things with nano machines, but uh, some of them, wh while preposterous, if you understand nano machines, they kind of make sense. Like with Vamp being able to. You know, his body heal himself or whatever. I mean, if you believe in nano machines, that's not too hard to believe. Right. But uh, you know, I, I, I'm the same way with with you, Young. I, I thought I felt it was like a, it was a little bit of a cop out of having to you know try and explain stuff. But this could be you know one of those one of those things. But um, you know, she also mentioned how big ground or uh, the Phantom Pain is, and I just like I get scared every night when I've got time to think about the Phantom Pain, and I feel like. I'm hoping it's going to be as large as everybody says it is. I'm hoping it's one of those games that's going to take hours and hours to complete and not one, like, for instance, I just uh, I played a game the other day. I can't remember what it is. It was one of the newer games um, that just came out. Uh, what was it? Uh, Mortal Kombat. I oh. beat Mortal Kombat in, uh. like, you know, under a couple hours. Grant, yeah. that's a fighting game, but I've played other games that I've beaten very quickly, and I'm like... Well, damn, I didn't want to beat the game that fast. For instance, Fallout 3. That game can be massive if you play it that way, but mm. I played the main storyline and beat it in like a couple hours. Like, right, right. What are your thoughts on the length of, uh, of, of The Phantom Pain? Do you think we're going to get a super long title, or is it going to be something that we can fly through? I mean, I couldn't tell you for sure, but Kojima's promising a world that's 300 times the size of Ground Zeroes, and if that's a right. testament to anything, this game is going to take really, really long to complete, especially if you want to dive into the story like heavily because I know like right. yeah you play through the main story and that's cool but if you really want to get the nitty gritty details about certain characters and certain storylines you want to maybe find the cassette tapes you want to yes. uh, yeah you have to dig exactly. other things uh, uh, you know like with quiet for example uh, you can choose to follow her storyline depending on your actions stuff like that I think will extend the game's um, lifetime and it not in a cheap right. way where it's like like a fetch quest you know kind of thing or anything <laughs> right yeah I, I think it'll uh metal gear solid 5 will do a good job of uh extending gameplay in a way that's uh, engaging and you'll find out new things as you do these things ronan what are your thoughts on the length of uh of metal gear i know it's going to be important to you because you're uh, you're going to stream it absolutely I, i'm sure from beginning to end and i'm sure Yong, you're probably going to do a young play so uh <laughs> ronan what are you thinking of, what are you thinking about the length of uh, of metal gear you know, having played it when it first came out, um, like I, I was in it for mostly the story to get a to get an idea of what the Phantom Pain was going to be and how it all the prologue would take place and where we, where it would go from there. But if the open endedness of how Ground Zeroes can be played, which it can be played through, you know, tackling situations in many different ways, right? And they're saying that this, you know, Ground Zeroes or not Ground Zeroes, but the Phantom Pain is supposed to be three hundred times bigger than that. They said one mission can take like four hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's incredible. Mm -hmm. that, that means you can get a lot of hours specifically out of gameplay right. alone. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. I guess that's I'm, good. I'm sure on a second playthrough it'll take much less. Like kind of how like Ground Zeroes can take 
geez, I don't even know what the record is, but a few minutes. Uh, but right. the first time you don't know what you're doing, that is like six, two hours, six or eight minutes. Right. Yeah. yeah. But you watch the cutscenes, and then you do right. the, the, you know, like you, you don't know what you're doing that then it can yeah take two hours. So yeah. And, and, and I feel like Phantom Pain will encourage uh, multiple playthroughs because of, yeah. first of all, Kojima always likes to add Easter eggs and all that that require right. a second playthrough. And also um, uh, he's going to add that score system. So people <laughs> can wanna... we get the tuxedo back? Yeah, the tuxedo back. <laughs> I want to play the tuxedo, and, uh, Yeah, man. people want to uh, also get a higher score on certain missions. Yeah. There's going to be leader uh, leaderboards and stuff like that. So I think the game is going to be around for a while. And also Mother Base Infiltration Online, yes. Metal Gear Online yes. 3. Metal Gear Online, yeah. Yeah, 60 bucks I think is, uh, they're, they're going to lose money, but whatever. <laughs> like I, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of you know experimenting with the games. Like in these yeah. games, there's always ways to, to right. experiment with the guards and stuff like that, or different situations. I know in Ground Zero, you can experiment with uh, yeah. you know the, the way. Like for example, today I, I played it today actually before the the interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I, I had done was when you're going to go you know save Chico from the the, the prison camp. Uh, you know you have all those those POWs in there with him. My original playthrough had me going through and saving all those POWs first and mm -hmm. then saving him. Mm -hmm. And when the cutscene played, it was mostly just, you know, him going crazy because he didn't recognize that it was you and mm -hmm. you had to kind of, you know, shut him up. But in the playthrough that I did today, I decided I would save him first. And in the cutscene where he went crazy, all the POWs heard it and started right. saying, hey, save me too, save me too. Oh. So it, it, it plays out differently based on right. what you're doing in the game. And if that's the kind of stuff that this game is going for, then yeah, you can get you're gonna get lots of hours Dude, out of I it. Dude, I never knew that. I never yeah. tried that, so I never knew that. Yeah, I tried That's it just crazy. today. It was crazy. Oh crap! Well, you never tried. Well, you never tried what way? Oh, um, I didn't try. I never tried rescuing the POWs and then playing the Chico cutscene. Oh yeah, yeah. And then because yeah. uh, uh, apparently, you know, like Ronan said, that plays out differently because yeah. the, the POWs are no longer there, so they aren't there to like cry out like "Help me, yeah, save yeah. me." Huh. I heard that there was. Um, a, a dialogue if you rescue Chico and, and pause like together. I heard you, that too, yeah. but I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it either, but um, according to, I think it was um, a uh, like a game informer or something like post, uh, there's some kind of like additional dialogue if they sit next to each other that reads at the bottom. But my the last topic that I want to talk about before we go into the closing, because we've got uh, some announcements to make. So if you're still here, 300 some people stay with us for just a few minutes longer. We've got a few announcements to make about some up, more upcoming interviews and stuff like that. Don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. Uh, the last topic I want to talk about is probably my biggest concern with the Phantom Paint, and that's the way Ground Zeroes is structured, where you go onto the mission select and then you choose the mission. Do you guys think that's going to be gone completely, or are we going to have that same mission selection but from Mother Base? I, and more of like a real time thing. I really, really hate that. I cannot stand that. I like my game to flow like yeah, uh, yeah. all the other Metal Gears. As soon as I saw that this was like play this one, and then okay, now you're playing a different one that has nothing to do with that one. That real, I was like, eh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like Ground Zero's gameplay, but I hate that mm -hmm. part of Ground Zero's. Right, what do you think, right. Young? No, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> This is an open world. They're not going to go for um, this list. Uh, unless it's missions that you've played before, I feel like then you'll be able to choose which one you want to replay. That would be okay. That's that fine. Be but, no, but uh, for missions you haven't done, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be you in the open world. In fact, I think Kojima confirmed this. You can actually take missions while you're doing another mission. Yeah, yeah. And you can uh, just tag one whenever you Maybe want. Maybe through I think the iDroid? Yeah, you have thing? like a list. Uh, yeah. like, it's almost yeah. like a quest list kind of thing. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was kind of implied that that's going to be the case so like maybe through codec calls like you can codec right. call about a mission and something then it'll like update and, and something that i, noticed, I hope that as well and something yeah. that i noticed is that um big boss uh, in his chopper he has like a this wall of photos yeah. it seems like those could be maybe like a visual form yeah. of the missions that he undertakes uh, but uh, regardless <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to go for a list because they said it's an open world yeah. and they want to make everything as seamless as possible and with all the information that's out there, I'm pretty like I'm I'm like 95 percent sure it's gonna. I really hope so. I can't. I I cannot stand the structure yeah, of Ground yeah, Zeroes. I feel you. I feel but you. Ronnie, you you on the same same page yeah, as us on that? I, I think um, at least in this case for it being an open world, I think it would be better to at least do it in the case where you know you pull up missions on the iDroid and you get right. those on the fly as you're playing the game. I, I feel like the it would be kind of weird to have you you know going back to Mother Base, selecting a mission for that area, going back every time you get a new yeah. mission. That'd be kind of ridiculous. It would kind of ruin the the overall flow of the way the game is supposed to be. 
So um, I think it'd be better if they were to do it that way. I mean, we don't really know for sure just yet, but we know, right. like Kojima said, he wants he wants it to feel like an open world game where you have these right. choices mm. and the consequences that follow behind them. So this will probably be the better option of doing that. Oh yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and I, I I know for a fact there's going to be some missions that kind of cut and require you to go back and then come back and do a mission like the one that we saw in the Af- the uh, the African or excuse me the Afghanistan mission where he gets picked up by the chopper and then taken back to mother base. That's fine by me. I don't mind that yeah. like you know doing missions like that, but I don't like picking them from a list and then choosing like normal, medium, hard yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like I, I just want to I just want to play. My Metal Gear. <laughs> I like a seamless. Yo, you were blowing up in the chat. You were a celebrity, <laughs> right? Everybody's. You're not young, yeah, anymore. You're young flirts. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, that is crazy right now. What did now. I do? It's this right now, man. The chat is going crazy on your your crush on Miss uh, Miss Stephanie. I mean, I just said she's beautiful. It's not like I'm lying. I know. I, like he was telling God. the truth. I, I can't. I can't blame. <laughs> right? He's telling the truth. See, I read the chat. He can't for you guys. I was, I was watching it the me. whole time the interview was going down. Like, <laughs> like the chat is losing it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the uh, the end of the topic. So we've got a couple other things to talk about. The first thing that I want to say is I see this comment a lot on, on my videos, uh, on um, on Yong's videos, um, and I want to you know just address the the crowd while they're here. Uh, when we're doing these interviews, occasionally it may seem like I'm interrupting these two guys, but there is no way I would ever interrupt these two amazing guys. I've got to usher the interview that's kind of my job they they get most of the questions and my job is to keep the flow of the interview up so right. i apologize to anybody i know you guys already know that but there's some people out there and i don't want to get the wrong impression like you know I'm, uh, some people say i look mad when so, uh, somebody else is asking a question and no i'm just keeping track of of our timing and, and stuff like that to make right, sure we right. maximize uh the time that we're given so with that out of the way we have y'all can you say this for me can you say can, i know you know who we have monday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, which is, I guess, technically tomorrow since it's Sunday right now. But 4 p.m. Monday Eastern time, we have. Oh wait, are, I'm sorry. Are you talking about Mark Me or are you talking about? No, that's Tuesday. Yeah, that's Tuesday. Who do we have? I'm sorry. I'm like exhausted right now. <laughs> I, I cannot think. Hold on. I'm one. not it's gonna just... say it. Out. I don't want to say it out loud. I'm gonna message it to you <laughs> in Skype because I... you're gonna ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Check your Skype. Check, yeah, check. There we go. Because I need you to do it. I need you to do it. <laughs> yes. All right, so hold on. Let me reset. Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, we have... Mr. Sexy Vampire. Mm. Mr. Sexy Vampire. Very I can't sexy. do it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Phil Lamar coming on to talk with us Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. He's going to talk about um, his roles in, in Metal Gear Solid 4, Metal Gear Solid 2, and some of the other work that he's done in, in some of... Uh, my co-host's favorite games, uh, the Samurai Jack or, uh, you know, video series, whatever you want to call those things. Are they anim- Are they considered animes because they're Japanese? What, Samurai Jack? Yeah. Is that, con- uh, that, was, that was developed in America, but that's yeah, still that was, okay. I think Cartoon Network or something. Yeah, Cartoon yeah. Network had that one. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, co- I'm confused on what, what qualifies an anime as an anime. Um, but in any case, we'll have him, <laughs> and uh, he's been on things like Mad TV and Saturday Night Live as well, so, like... Other people know who he is, which is awesome. So, yeah, we've got Phil Lamar coming up, Mr. Sexy Vampire. And then um, <laughs> we we do have Mark Meir coming on Tuesday. However, unfortunately, I don't think Yong is going to be able to make it. And I'm really, really – it breaks my heart. Yeah, I have this <clears throat> huge he, rehearsal he's on got that a, date at that time. Yeah. Just very uh, – so I really the, wanted to be there though. And, the big uh, play. Well, what we're going to do is um, we're going to let Yong uh, – Submit questions to us. So if you have questions that you would like Young to ask, send them to his Facebook. I don't, sure. Young, you're not going to make a video about it, right? Since um, you're not going to be there. I mean, if you want to, we we'd be, we would love that. But if you, if you don't want to, I'll, I'll make uh, like an announcement video and see if people have questions. You, you guys could look over it and then. Yeah, that's what that's what I was going to say. Sure. We yeah. will, um, you know, for your community. Since you're not going to be here, I will voice your your community's um, questions and your your questions mm-hmm. for Mr. Mark Mir and let him sure. know. Um, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna make sure that he comes back and, and talks with us because that's something, like I said, I don't, I could do these interviews by myself, but I don't want to. Like I've got like these two great guys here to, to help me with that. And we're actually looking to bring on some other talent as well for times where y'all can't make it or Ronan can't make it or for God's sakes, even I can't make it today. 
uh, my power uh, went out because oh, yeah, you mentioned that there was a storm here and it blew a tree over and it knocked down like six power lines Jesus. and they got them all up, all six power lines back up and hooked up in two hours. And I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> oh man. I was literally, I was like, I called my brother and I was like, dude, I'm going to have to go down here and tell these guys to get these power lines up. Cause I got an interview with Stephanie Houston. Like I, they got to get them up. <laughs> <laughs> right. This is live and we, death. Yeah. I mean, we need to we get got, this up. We've got problems here, okay? So <laughs> we're going to make sure we get Mark back. But we've got those two amazing interviews lined up already. Unfortunately, I guess this would be a good time to announce since we have, like I said, upwards of 300 people here uh, right now is I believe Paul Eiding is going to have to reschedule. I know some of you knew he was coming Friday. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, he said he's going to be on call uh, Friday between 2 to 6. So if he gets a call, he's not going to be able to come and, uh, and do the interview with us. But he said if he's not um, called in by 2 o'clock, he'll let us know, and um, then we, or the interview should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, so that's our schedule as of right now. We've got more coming. Uh, we're, we're approaching some, some other characters uh, in the Metal Gear universe who I think we're going to keep quiet for now. I think we're going to keep, keep a lid on it just yeah. to build the anticipation. But we have more interviews coming up for you guys, so – Make sure you stay tuned here on Frag Nation TV on Yongya's YouTube channel, which is a clickable link. I did some work today or yesterday, and now you have a clickable link for Yongya's YouTube channel right down in the profile description uh, mm -hmm. on the live stream now. So you can click that, and it will take you right to Yongya's channel, which is youtube.com slash C slash Yongya, which I found out the hard way doesn't work for all channels. You can't youtube.com slash C slash really? whatever channel you want. I guess they have to like set that up or slash something. Slash user works too. Slash user slash Young. Yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what's so, going on with YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, check out Young. Yeah, and then also I've got a clickable link for my boy here, Corrupt Ronin, who streams all the time. Amazing stream. Playing some cool uh, dungeon game today, which looked awesome. Oh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yeah, dude, I'm that thing was that. cool. That, that game is awesome. Those are games that I'm just gonna watch because I, I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, There's that not, game is fucking awesome. Not enough explosions for me, but fun to watch. <laughs> fun. To, I'm kidding. They're fun to watch, so make sure you give uh, uh, Ronan a follow on his Hitbox channel. Show him some love, and please, if you can, follow our channel. Just click the blue follow button. It's it's, a, it's right there, some, it's over there. Around, it's it's yeah. over there somewhere, I believe, and and that way you can be emailed and updated when we go live for these interviews. That way, if you forget or um, you know you're out or about, you can get a, a mobile update or something like that. And we all look forward to coming back here. In just a few short hours, to mis uh, to Mr. Sexy Vampire, who will be here uh, with us, Phil Lamar, guys. So, you guys have a great night. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the Stephanie Houston interview, which should be up live on Yong Channel probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you're going to go to sleep tonight and then uh, upload I'll it tomorrow. I'll edit the video and it'll be rendered by tomorrow. So yeah, probably tomorrow morning. That's when it'll be. There up. you go. So All check right, there you go. check back <laughs> tomorrow morning on Yong's channel for the. Uh, the edited interview, and I have one request for you, Yong, and I don't know if you were going to do this already, but I think it would be in good spirit if the codec incoming call for this video was the Metal Gear Solid 3 codec, since it's the older, ah, right. since it's the older <laughs> version. So if you can work some magic on that, I think that would be really cool to have that one, that one on do. there, or uh, maybe the one from Ground Zeroes, which. Oh, yeah, I believe yeah. there's. I believe they're kind of similar. I don't know. W one of them would work. I just thought it, it would add more of that touch to it. And uh, man, the the hum, uh -huh. Maybe you can loop it for an hour, and then we can. <laughs> oh, they had that as a separate video. <laughs> yeah, just a separate video of <laughs> ten hours, Houston ten humming. hours of yeah, uh, of Stephanie Houston humming. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, Everybody oh. wants you to say uh, the hotness before you leave. Hotness. Yeah, the hotness. Right. You know, you're... Right, well, first of all, if I do say it, I'm not referring to any particular individual at this moment. Right. I'm just <laughs> saying the words. <laughs> okay. Right? Oh, my God, hotness. I want to bang you. There you go, guys. <laughs> so, done and Ronan, done. your final thoughts and goodbyes. Uh, yeah, so I know like I, I, I've been watching the chat the whole time. I know some people say that I've been kind of quiet for the most part of the interview. Uh, the thing with me in these interviews, it kind of goes along the line of uh, as well as what Daly is saying as well, where 
I try to keep a lot of my questions limited because I know that I want you know both of you guys to get your questions in, and I know that We're Yong so has respectful of each other. We're just <laughs> I know that that Yong has a pretty extensive community that he wants to get community questions out of the way of, so we want to give him a chance to get those in during these interviews, right. really and I don't want to flood that with my questions in the process of doing that. So that's kind of why I've been not saying too much uh, throughout the interviews. Please feel but, free uh, to to say a lot. I mean, <laughs> we, you always have great things to say. You so guys are please. also yeah. humble, man, and that, I think that's why we all work so great as a team um you know and, and i i know for a fact that it's it's not all the time because i mean there i guarantee you when the paul eiding's here you're gonna have a ton of questions but you know we all uh, as hosts and, and youtubers and uh you know streamers we all know when to give and take you know in, in this the interview process so um don't worry guys we're all we're all you know a, we're a, a good little group here where nobody's mad at anybody for anything we all understand what's going on so whatever you guys think um you know is going wrong it's probably not we probably have already talked about it so we're good to go so yeah. thank you uh Ronan, for addressing that and i know yeah, you've no got the, i know you've got your your goodbyes you want to say to your corrupt assassins <laughs> absolutely uh quick shout outs to hm uh fox and 666 and uh, Fieldsy as well. They wanted me to shout them out during this interview. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> but anyways, this is Corrupt Ronan telling you guys to stay classy, stay sharp, don't do anything I wouldn't do, and I will see you guys in the next interview. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ronan. I see people hashtagging Donna Burke. They want Donna to come <laughs> on here. I don't want her to come on here and then like retract her interview. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> is it too soon? Is it too soon <laughs> <Nope>. for that? <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Donna Burke would be amazing to have on here. She's uh, she's she does the. I didn't know she did the song until recently. Um, probably uh, when I was researching the music I was going to put on for this stream. But yeah, maybe we'll talk to Donna Burke. I don't know what we're going to ask her. Um, but you know, she's definitely a possibility. Yeah. Uh, so for my community and and really everybody's community, I want to say thank you to everybody that that showed up tonight. The Hitbox staff for promoting it, Hawkeye, Penguin. I saw somebody else in here earlier, um, but they're gone now. So whoever that other person was, thank you guys so much for sharing the stream, getting this out there. That was Savvy, the, by the way. She was here. Right, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, the more the more you guys share and 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 you know, promote and help us build this, the bigger stars and the bigger guests that we're going to have on here. That's kind of what fuels this. Unfortunately, I hate, I hate that it's like that, but that's how it is in the world. These, these celebrities and these voice actors, occasionally they'll grant the small guy an interview, but normally, uh, you know, in, in the case of like Troy Baker, we had to show numbers and stats yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Um, and then, like I said, you'll give me people who, who don't like David Hayter was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Like <laughs> he was such a cool guy, but yeah. occasionally we're going to have guests that you guys want to see who might need stats maybe like Young was saying uh, you know if we want to have Hideo on here at some point mm -hmm. we're going to have to show you know that it's not a waste of his time to come on here he wants you know promotion for whatever sure. you know he's doing at the time sure. so be sure to share it with your friends follow the channel follow the two amazing co-hosts help us help you guys by bringing on these these bigger these bigger people and I want to again like I said say thank you to everybody uh, for being here I'm so uh, humbled just to have the opportunity to you know, interview these people, let alone do it with uh, with Yong Ya yeah, and uh, Corrupt Ronan. So thank you guys very much, and thank you for watching Frag Nation TV. Please check out our links down below in the description uh, of the uh, of the page here. And uh, as always, my favorite <laughs> outro, Mr. Yong Ya yeah himself. Thank you for tuning in, folks. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. Have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome.